Hello friends, in this video let us discuss Network Analysis MCQs. If you are preparing for UGC NET exams or SET exams, this video will be very much helpful. Starting with 16th question, they have given a delta network, you have to write the equivalent star network. Star network, let me name this resistance as RA and this resistance as RB and this resistance to be RC. Uh, these terminals are A, B and C. So what is the value of RA? RA is given by RAB nothing but 5 ohms into RAC nothing but 15 divided by 30 plus 15 plus 5 which is equals to 50. So I will be getting 5 3s are 15, 5 10s are this is 2s are which is equals to 1.5 ohms. Similarly let me solve for RB, RB equals to RAB nothing but 5 ohms into RBC nothing but 30 divided by 50. I will be getting 3 ohms. Similarly, if I am solving for RC, RC equals to RAC nothing but 15 into RBC nothing but 30 divided by 50 which is equals to 9 ohms. So I got RA equals to 1.5 ohms, RB equals to 3 ohms and RC equals to 9 ohms. So this is the equivalent star network. Moving on to question number 17, what they have given is if each branch of a delta network has an impedance of root 3z then what is the equivalent star network. So what they are given is you will be having a delta network whose impedance is root 3 times of z. So the impedance is root 3 times of z. They are asking what is the star equivalent of it. What is the star equivalent of it. So let me name this impedance as A, B, C and this point I am going to read in the same that is A, B, C and let me call this impedance as R, A and this impedance to be R, B and this impedance to be R, C. We know that if all the impedances are equal in the case of delta network, if you want to convert from delta to star it is divided by 3. So the value of RA will be root 3 Z divided by 3 which is equals to Z divided by root 3. Similarly, I will be getting RB equals to Z divided by root 3 and RC also equals to Z divided by root 3. 18th question, what they have given is time constant of a capacitor circuit may be defined as time during which voltage rises to 63.2% of its final value. In the case of first order systems, especially in control system subject, you have studied this definition. Time constant equals to 63.2% of its final steady state value. 19th question, in a delta connected polyphase circuit, the line current is related to phase current by. So we will be having a delta connected network and we will be having a star connected network. So let us learn what is the relation between line current and phase current, line voltage and phase voltage. Let me take these terminals as A, B and C. A, B and C, it's a three phase circuit. In the case of, in the case of delta connected network, your line voltage is equals to phase voltage, but your line current is equals to root three times of phase current. So this is one relation what you have to remember. Similarly, in the case of star connected network, your line voltage equals to root 3 times of phase voltage and line current equals to phase current and line current equals to phase current. So based on this theory, what we can tell is the line current is related to root 3 times of phase current or IL by I phase which is equals to root 3, IL by I phase which is equals to root 3. Able to follow? Moving on to 20th question, for an all pass filter where zeros and poles will be lying. Let me consider this is an S plane. In the S plane, I am going to plot with respect to sigma and j omega axis. Right? On the left half of S plane, on the left half of S plane, stability is guaranteed. If I am moving from right half of S plane, stability is not guaranteed. That means the system will become unstable. On the imaginary axis, my system will be marginally stable if poles are not repeating. If poles are repeating, then the system is unstable. If I am getting a simple pole at origin, then also my system will be marginal stable system. 
so zeros can lie anywhere in the system but pole should lie only on left half of a strain in order to define the stability similarly for an all pass filter if i am writing 0 at plus 1 then i should have a pole at minus 1 if i am writing a 0 at plus 2 then a pole should be at minus half nothing but it should be a reciprocal kind of thing then i can tell the system is an all pass filter all pass filter is not a function of frequency components or a range of frequencies magnitude is constant so for this question for an all pass filter zeros are in the right of plane and poles are in the left of plane this is very very important so in this video i have discussed from question number 16 to question number 20 so if you have followed with my lecture please like this video share this video and subscribe to my channel craving yan all the best for your competitive exams and don't forget to join our telegram group thank you all the best